Now I'm going to show you how to make a crown. You can use this for a boy's birthday cake. So I'm going to use some yellow fondant and I'm going to just put, place it in some cornstarch. Get enough on there so that it doesn't stick to your mat. And I'll put some on the top. And take our rolling pin. I'm just going to roll it out. You don't want to do it too thin or too thick because if it's too thick, it's going to not dry in a good amount of time. And if it's too thin, it'll just fall apart. So I'm going to keep rolling it out and adding my cornstarch so it doesn't stick. Just keep rolling until you have it the size of the crown you would like it to be. Now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to just lay it flat, smooth it out, and I'm going to take an X-Acto knife. If you don't have an X-Acto knife, you can use a paring knife, just a small little knife with a nice little tip. And I'm going to just cut a straight line down at the bottom. Then I'm going to make the peaks at the top of my crown. Just you can do as many or as little as you want. Just keep making them with your knife. And then I'm just going to cut the edges so it's straight. Like that. And now I'm just going to decorate it. I'm going to make some little diamond cutouts at the top using my X-Acto knife or if you have a small little square cookie cutter, you can use that. I'm just going to do a few more. And like I said, you can design this however you want. And if you're not comfortable with making the actual crown shape yourself by hand, you can draw it on a piece of paper and cut it out and use it as a template. So I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to take a piece of yellow fondant. I'm just going to pick this up and just move it over. I'm going to roll it out and just make some more little diamond shapes with the piece that I'm rolling out. So I'm going to take my X-Acto again and just make some more diamond shapes. I'm going to take that and I'm going to use our glue and just add it to the bottom. You can add it to each side. I'm going to make another one. Cut a nice diamond shape. Take that shape. I'm going to add it at the end. Right there. I'm going to make three more for the middle of it. Like so. And then I'm going to add some more water as our glue. Just down the center. Just add it right there. And like I said, you can do any type of shape or design that you want. Just make that shape, add it to the center. And then I'm going to make one last one and add it to the bottom with some water as my glue. So we're going to use that there. And then I'm going to take some pearls and I'm just going to dress up my crown so it looks like it has some diamonds on it. Just going to add a few in the middle of the little diamonds I just made. I'm going to use blue. You can use any color you want. They have silver, gold, white, pink, any colors. Just add it there. I'm going to add a few more down the sides right here. and just play with it, dress it up as much or as little as you want. And now to make the actual rounded shape of the crown, you can actually use a piece of towel, paper towel roll, and you're going to place it down 
and if you feel like it's going to move too much, you can use whatever you have around just to secure it and make sure it doesn't move. And then I'm going to pick up my piece. Don't worry about ripping it or anything like that. It should be fine to pick up. So just pick it up and you're going to add it to your roll and then you're going to leave it there to dry overnight and then when you wake up in the morning you can decorate your nice prince cake with your prince crown. Thank you.